Hey, this is Adam from Ash Productions, and this is the review of the Steel Series 4XB gaming headset. Before I start off with this review, I just want to let you know that I have been using these for a while, so I'll be able to give my valid viewpoint on them. Okay, let's start off with the actual headset itself. As you can see, the ear pads, they are very soft, and they're also extremely light, which means they're not just going to get uncomfortable after like two hours of use, which most advanced headphones do. It does have a detachable, not detachable, it has a retractable microphone, which means you can just use these as a, uh, a pair of headphones by simply sliding the microphone back in like that. At the top here we have more foam, where they'd be put on your head. This allows for maximum comfort. On both of the earpieces we have the Steel Series logo, along with left and right. You can in fact connect these to a computer as well using the headphone and microphone jacks however they do provide an adapter that you plug into the bottom of your Xbox 360 controller which means you can have the game audio from the Xbox into the headset itself now I'm going to show you how to do that before I show you how to connect it I'm going to show the adapter that you connect it to this is again provided in the box when you get the headset I'm not sure how well you can see that but it is a volume rocker for the game audio and this is a volume rocker for the voice audio. That's the incoming voice, not your own voice. On the bottom we have a headphone jack and a microphone jack. And on the utmost button we have the live mix on and off. This will allow for, say for example, an explosion goes off in the game and people are speaking at the same time. They'll kind of balance so you don't lose what your friends are saying in the game as well. So that's a pretty cool feature. So oh yeah, anyway, you want to get the, uh, you want to line up the colours, obviously. So let's go ahead and put the green in the green, and the pink in the pink. Once you've done that, go ahead and put it in the bottom of your Xbox 360 controller, like so. On the other side of the uh, cable that's attached to the Microsoft Xbox 360 controller, we have... a USB connection and an audio connection. What you have to do with these is plug them into the other cable that they provide you with, which looks like this. So you want to go ahead and plug the audio cable into the into this jack here. And then you want to put the USB cable into the front of your Xbox. When you've done this, you'll notice you have these audio cables remaining, doing nothing. This is where the audio cable that comes with the Xbox comes into play. You put the red cable into the red one, and, of course, the white one into the white one. And again, once you've done this, go ahead and plug it in into your Xbox as you would normally. Like so. The end result should look something like this. This is, of course, when you haven't plugged in the power to the Xbox or the visual cable. My first great feature about this is that it does have a retractable microphone. This comes in so handy whenever you don't want to use these these headphones for like gaming or speaking. Say if you just want to take the audio connections out of the Xbox and put it in like an iPod or something. It's really easy to do. You just take the a headphone jack and then you put it in the iPod simple as that you can just come along take the audio cables out and then just go ahead and listen to the music on whatever device you want for this case it's the iPad and then just take it away it's that simple just to change the audio cables and when you want to come back and play some Xbox put it down find the controller and then simply just put the audio cables back in and continue playing However, despite the retractable microphone being an advantage, the sensitivity isn't that great. What I mean by this is I've been playing, I've been using this headset on Xbox Live for a few weeks now, and a lot of people say they can't hear me like that great half the time. That's because I don't have this microphone right next to my mouth all the time. So basically what it comes down to is if you've got it near your mouth and you're speaking clearly into it, then you should have no problems at all. But for me, I don't like always have it 
up close to my mouth like you should have. I don't know, some people may, may just be like me or not, so yeah. Just watch out for the sensitivity of the microphone. However, a positive would be that this is ridiculously light. In comparison to my headset that I use for my computer, this is just crazy. It's almost as it, it's not like light to the point where it feels cheaply made. It's more light to the point you know it's going to be comfortable. A truly great advantage would be this headset is ridiculously lightweight. When you're playing games, it's just great to just, instead of being your head being weighed down by like a massive 7.1 surround sound headset for like the computer with all these crazy features on, this is just simple, lightweight. All you do, just plug it in, you set it up and go. I mean, you can just, you could game for a ridiculous amount of time with this headset, just for the fact that it's so light. However, there is another disadvantage, and yeah, you've guessed it, it's not wireless. So it doesn't look great on your desk when there's all these cables just clustered up on your desk. On the screen here is a full list of the specifications to this headset. Thanks for watching this video review of the SteelSeries 4XB gaming headset.